What's up guys? Hope you're all doing good. So we're back with some more Cat Williams and back with another suggestion. And this one is Cat Williams finally got my motorcycle. Just want to say before we get into it, only 15% of you guys are, subs uh, are subscribed. So if you've got 85% of you could just come, just drop down, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Because like I say, when I get to 10,000 subs, I can drop the clothing line that I've got under my sl up my sleeve and it's going to be absolutely insane. I'm going to keep the prices down. So literally as many people can buy it as possible because honestly the designs I've got, I, I, I'm not just saying it because I've done it. it, I'm actually dead proud of it, it's so cool. Um, and there's gonna be some female clothing there as well. Um, so yeah guys, just if you, if you could just get me up to 10,000 subs, that'd be mint. But anyway, I hate chatting. I'm not gonna keep, keep swearing because they keep pretty putting out like, um, I can only have like add, add like suitability. God, I can't get my words out tonight. Um, yeah, so let's just jump straight into it because I am waffling. As hard as you can, because sometimes shit just does not work out the way you motherfucking plan. That's just a part of life. Sometimes shit do not work out the fucking way you plan. I'm going to give you a prime example. I waited my whole fucking life trying to get a motorcycle. My whole fucking life, all I wanted was a motorcycle. And first, I couldn't afford the motorcycle. Then when I could afford the motorcycle, then I had kids. And you can't just get a motorcycle as your primary means of transportation if you got kids. You don't know what to tell them in the driveway. You just, I ain't got no room. <laughs> and I finally was able to fucking get the motorcycle. I was happy like a kid at motherfucking Christmas. You don't understand. I have never been this goddamn happy. I had the motherfucking motorcycle and it was small and black. Do you know what? I'm just going to pause it there because I'm having to, well, I don't have to pause the Cat Williams one because they don't tend to get banned, but I'm going to anyway, um, just to get into the habit of doing it. I love how he always uses his chair as his prop. I noticed he did that in the Crocodile Hunter video as well. Brilliant. Black and fast, just like me, and I had got the black Harley Davidson boots and the leather one piece that zip up here, and got the knee pads and shit already in it. I look like a black toddler superhero, like you should call me to solve small crimes and shit. But I felt good than a motherfucker, cause I'm not that big in regular life, but um. On a motorcycle, nigga, I'm the perfect size. If you look in the rear view, you don't come in by itself, nigga. <laughs> and I was so motherfucking proud to have that motherfucker, and I thought everybody was gonna be excited for me because I was happy, and everybody talked shit. Everybody, everybody who saw me standing by the goddamn bike talk shit about, nigga, what the fuck is you doing with a bike, nigga? You gonna kill yourself. And then my bodyguard who ride a Harley every goddamn day, I'm thinking this nigga gonna have my back. This the first nigga talking shit, talking about, nigga, if you ride, nigga, you gonna fall. <laughs> nigga, what? Nigga, if you ride, nigga, you gonna fall. Nigga, why are you saying that like that's in the Bible or something? That's not a scripture, <laughs> nigga. You can't just be quoting that to people. Nigga, if you ride, nigga, you gonna fall. So he done said this shit so much, it done spooked me. So I had to take the bike off to myself for a couple days and try to practice and shit. Because I'm not built like regular motherfuckers. Like most motorcycle niggas, if you see them at the light, they hold they whole bike up. Just on they tippy toes and shit. <laughs> I'm not built like that. I got to ease way up on the handlebars, put my legs out firmly and shit. Or else I'd be done lost control of the bike and rolled into the intersection or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> to get my shit in fucking order. So I don't worked on it for like three or four days and finally I feel comfortable enough to debut and showcase me and my motherfucking fast ass black motherfucking bike. So we- Right, let me guess, he comes off. I reckon he does, but I just wanna hear. Uh, in Tampa and it's the perfect situation. It's a curvy road that go like this and then it break into a straight shot for a mile. Now I'm not gonna fuck with the curvy part, but I am in the cusp of the curb and the straightaway. And all I'm waiting for is the bus to come because it's got glass windows and I want them to come around and then catch me in all my motherfucking glory <laughs> down the goddamn street. And I'm not telling my bodyguard because I want him to be the first motherfucker with the dusty mouth for talking shit about me <laughs> in this goddamn place. So this is how it was in my head. Now you know what I was thinking in my head. Now, it had been raining for a couple days before this day. Don't worry, that don't have nothing to do with the story. I'm just trying to make sure you know the details. 
But since it had been raining, I decided I'm gonna be extra careful. So I moved my bike to the middle of the street right on the yellow line. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's a straight shot and I want to make sure if somebody come from this way or that way, I can fucking maneuver. Now you can probably hear some niggas grumbling and laughing in the back. Them is, you should never ever be on the yellow line because that's the stri slipperiest place on the goddamn street. But none of them smart ass niggas was there at the goddamn time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell the story like the fuck it happened. So here I am on the yellow line. The bus is coming through the curves. Now, you know when you get excited how everything slow down and go into slow motion and shit? That's where the fuck I was. I saw the bus. I went into slow motion. And I hit that motherfucker one time. Now, let me pause the story right here. Just to say, sometimes shit does not work out the way you goddamn planned it. One second, I'm waiting on my moment of glory. Shoo! I hit it one time. Yee! I don't know what happened the next second. But the second after that, I am in the middle of the goddamn street. <laughs> with my bike on top of me. Now, oh, I not knew only it. I am I in the middle it. of I the goddamn it. street, trapped under my own goddamn bike, the bus has now pulled up right the fuck here. So now everybody in my staff is looking at me. My <laughs> bodyguard who could have easily picked this motherfucker up off of me is too busy getting his seven goddamn chuckles under his goddamn helmet and shit. And not only am I caught <laughs> under my own fucking bike, my left hand is caught up under the handlebars. So not only am I trapped under my own bike in the middle of the street, I am slowly spinning for no goddamn reason at all. Just, ee, 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 ee. That is gold. Yo, cat has got to be like one of the most unluckiest people ever, man. So come off his bike and he's been shot. Any other disaster stories about him, drop it down in the comments below because I'd love to hear. I get up, all this side is all crispity, crackly, crunchy, cool. I can't even get no motherfucking sympathy from no goddamn body because it ain't like I got in a motorcycle accident. All the fuck that happened is my bike drug me five feet up the goddamn highway and then slowly spun me rotisserie style in front of my goddamn <laughs> friends. <laughs> I had to do what any real motherfucker would do in that situation. Just... <laughs> I got back on that motherfucker, made them five miles an hour, crying, nigga. <laughs> Y'all been all that. I've been Cat Williams. Thank you so much, DC. Oh God, I absolutely love Cat Williams. I oh, he's definitely my favourite comedian. Like I said before, Anthony Jesson looks creeping up behind, but Cat still got that number one spot. And to be honest, I think he'll retain it. Just oh, everything about him and the way he, the way he delivers stuff, I just love. And for, for some reason, it just it's just me all over. I just absolutely love the way he does it. It's, yeah, guys, that was fantastic. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like and subscribe. Like I said, if you can get me up to 10,000 subs as soon as possible, that would be absolutely amazing. It really would, guys. And I appreciate all the uh, all the current subscribers and all the members who've been there pretty much from the start watching. Still, like I said, it's amazing. It's, it's only been like three and a half, almost four months and it's just picked up like so much more than a thought so thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next one peace